In this video, I will be discussing the concept of memoization. Fortunately, the concept is easier to understand than it is to pronounce. Memoization refers to the technique of storing function calls. This means that if the same function inputs arise later, then we can simply retrieve our stored results rather than running the function over and over again. So the classic illustration is with a program that generates uh, the nth Fibonacci number. So in our code on screen, we've got a recursive function that finds the nth Fibonacci number um, by recursively calling itself uh, to find the n minus 1 Fibonacci number and the n minus 2 Fibonacci number. For example, if we want to find the fourth Fibonacci number, we need to call the function for the second and the third Fibonacci number. However, you'll notice that this, um, these function calls are repeated down here. So in fact, if we were to store those results, then we would be able to cut out all of this work here altogether. Now to do this, I will store my function results, my function call results in an array. So in the optimized version of the code, I've got an array where the default values are negative one. And once I find the Fibonacci number, I'll simply overwrite the negative one and uh, put it into the array. Um, so if we track through the code, um, I'm checking whether the n minus one Fibonacci number has been stored. If it hasn't, then it's going to be negative one still, and we'll need to do the work of running the function. I then do the same for the n minus two uh, Fibonacci number. Uh, if they are both stored, then I can simply uh, just grab them from the array uh, and add them together to find the nth Fibonacci number. So this will decrease the work that we have to do tremendously. Um, and just to show you, if we were to time uh, our program to find the 42nd Fibonacci number, uh, so this is in our unoptimized version, it takes 1.73 seconds. Now if we were to run our optimized version, 0.00 seconds. So you can already see a difference for the 42nd Fibonacci number. And of course, as the inputs increase in size, the difference becomes more and more significant.